For my best and most trusted CAT adjuster resources, software, and gear, go to adjustertv.com slash resources. You know, it may not seem like it, but the big gift giving holiday season is pretty much upon us. In this video, I'll show you some of the best gifts you can give the lovable independent adjuster in your life, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so you'll never miss a video. Want to know how you can survive your first ever storm deployment? Check out the How to Survive Your First Storm Deployment webinar, and you can register for free at adjustertv.com slash thrive. And thanks to Gene, who sent me a super long email saying, in part, your book and videos have made me feel really ready for a deployment and have made up my mind to go, if they call me, even if they only give me 10 claims. And I'll follow your workflow to the T. Thanks for all you do. Well, thank you so much for watching, Gene. Okay, let's talk gear and gadgets. Personally, my favorite topic. Sometimes adjuster gear can be expensive, but thankfully we've got Black Friday and Cyber Monday to help us out with some killer sales on must-have gear for ourselves or the IA in our lives. So here are my top 10 favorite gear items that will mostly fit under the Christmas tree. Number one, DJI drone. While still in its infancy, drone claims are catching on and for the FAA license adjuster, this is a must have. Number two, Household Essentials 2026 pop-up collapsible mesh laundry hamper slash black. Probably the most useful piece of cat gear that I own. Nothing worse than a pile of dirty clothes on the floor of your hotel room. Keep it all in a nice tidy hamper that will tuck away neatly in your vehicle during transit to and from storm sites. And of course, dirty laundry basketball. Number three, the Fujifilm XP130. Still a great camera that's reliable, durable, and fits into a speedy workflow for processing claims images. Number four, mobile printer. The HP OfficeJet 200 portable printer with wireless and mobile printing is still my favorite printer. Even though I've tried other printers and I've reviewed other, another printer, that HP OfficeJet is still my favorite printer by far. So number five, Haig Education. If you don't have at least 100 roof inspections under your belt, you won't be able to sign up for their Haig Certified Inspector Credential, but everything else is fair game. This coupon code expires soon. Don't wait until Black Friday to take advantage of this discount. Number six, safety items. Safety is so important. So these next few items are gonna keep you safe while you're up on the roof. First, tool belts and pouches. How can these keep you safe? Well, if all your gear is secure and it allows you to be hands-free on a roof, then you're better able to scramble around and up valleys, use rope and harness gear, and do your test squares without having extra stuff in your hands. Never mind that being organized with your field gear will make you faster. Check out these two videos where I do full feature walkthroughs of these two great gear organization tools. Number seven, steep gear shorts. I don't wanna scare you, but it's not a matter of if, but kind of when you slip on a roof, even if you don't fall off. Unless your ladder slips out from under you and you fall straight to the ground, you will likely slide down a slope before you fall off an eave edge. So you need something that will help stop that slide. Steep gear shorts will slow you down and help you get stopped so you can keep from getting more serious injuries. Then you're probably still gonna get a little scuffed up and bruised, especially if you're not wearing gloves, but much better than waking up in a hospital and not being able to feel your legs. Number eight, the Leica X4 laser, dude. If you get nothing else on this list, consider getting one of these guys. Well, consider getting a safety gear first. They finally figured out a way for us to get measurements outdoors. It's got a freaking camera on it so that you can see what you're pointing at. This is a huge game changer. And if you're looking at the price and going, oh, hell no, just get the $40 one at Home Depot. Let me share a little secret with you. First of all, if you're running cat claims, you can afford this laser. Second of all, I bought my first Hilti laser back on Hurricane Ivan when I had a ton of interior damage to scope. It was $400 and it's no lie that it paid for itself the very first day. I was able to shoot inch accurate measurements in seconds instead of having to run my tape through mold and muck. Also, because these are professional industrial level pieces of equipment, they're very durable. The only reason I bought a second laser years later because I lost the first one in a move. The batteries literally last years on these things and it will zip off consistent, accurate measurements every single time. I'm telling you, 
Invest in quality gear that won't let you down and you'll never regret spending $400 on something like this, I promise you. Number nine, and speaking of lasers, augmented reality is apparently a real thing. You can measure all kinds of things with this little tiny thing, but your claims workflow will benefit from its ability to get complex measurements of things that you can't reach, okay? So check out my extensive features walkthrough video here, is that right? And number 10, you can't do anything at all without a good laptop, okay? The great news is, is that you don't have to spend a fortune on a gaming PC in order to effectively run Xactimate or other estimating software. The machine I've been using for over a year now with no issues is the Dell 5000 2-in-1. This guy right here. And it's a 2-in-1 because you, know, you can use it as a laptop, but if you flip it around, then it converts into a tablet mode and then you can like pinch and point and poke and do all that stuff. It's lightweight, inexpensive, and powerful enough to get the job done. You have to always check the specs when you pick up a new laptop because they change these models every year and Xactimate's recommended specs will change with new updates. So Matt, why not a high-end gaming laptop? What if I want to run Xactimate or SimSol or SimBility at lightning speed while playing the new Call of Duty game in the background? Listen, two things. Number one, a gaming laptop will be big and heavy, not small and light. You're going to be carrying this in the field with you, in and out of the hotel, your truck, Starbucks, etc. Number two, a gaming laptop is gonna be very expensive, at least $2,000, probably more like $2,500 to $3,500 minimum. But I'm telling you, field use is rough on gear, especially laptops. They get dust in them in these little holes here. I mean, any, any little hole in a, in a laptop case, dust will get in there. These are supposed to be vents, but they intake at one place and go out the other, right? And dust will just fill this whole thing. They'll up. experience vibrations from your vehicle while you're driving around or sitting there idling. No matter how careful you are, you're going to bang it on something or drop it. Would you rather spend $700 if your computer gets busted or 3000. Never mind that no matter which computer you get, you'll probably get a max of about two years out of it before it's either obsolete, Xactimate has upped their specs beyond it, or field use has degraded it to the point of constant breakdowns. In the last 20 years, I've probably run through 10 PC laptops. I've had high-end gaming PCs, and I've had the cheap Best Buy manager specials, and I even had one custom built. Just get a solid, small laptop that exceeds the current recommended Xactimate specs and spend less than a grand, and then expect to replace it every couple of years. And number three, I'll put it to you this way. If you use the link in the description where you're watching this video, to buy the laptop that I'm suggesting, I'm gonna get a tiny little percentage commission from Amazon, okay? Wouldn't it benefit me to tell you to get a $4,500 laptop instead of a $650 laptop? I'm just saying. And final note about laptops. Do not use this computer for anything except for running claims. Do not watch movies on it. Don't game on it. Don't let your spouse do social media on it. Don't let your kids watch YouTube on it. This is a work tool and it stays with your work tools. If you want a fancy gaming laptop to take with you on cat for recreational purposes, go get one. You'll be able to afford it. You can find all this gear at adjustertv.com slash resources. Or if you go to the homepage at adjustertv.com, click on the gear link in the top navigation. And this is very important. I want you to know that I have affiliate sales partnerships with some of these products, which means that if you use my links to make your purchase, I will receive a very small commission at no extra charge to you. If you purchase with my links and you don't absolutely don't have to, but if you do, it will help Adjust Your TV to continue to focus on creating great content for new and experienced IAs. So thank you. For much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjust Your TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjust Your TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. French toast?